Welcome to this series of videos on medical terminology. In the next series of videos, you will be introduced to the concept of medical terminology and the language of medicine and healthcare. So by the end of this series of videos, you will be expected to be able to, uh, number one, to explain the purpose of medical terminology. So explain the use of medical terminology and secondly, you'll be expected to define the terms or the basic elements of a medical word. Right? So in those, we will study those are number one, the word root. The prefix. And the suffix. And number three, you'll also be expected to be able to explain what combining forms are and why we use them, right? Explain combining forms. Right, what, what they are, how they are formed and why we use them. Okay, so um, being able to understand the basics or the concepts of medical terminology is helpful for any health professional and Number one, it's helpful because it helps with being able to appreciate the pathology, right, or the disease without even knowing what that condition is exactly. So by looking at the word and by understanding some of the basic terms, you can be able to appreciate the pathologic process of that disease without knowing the specifics. Two, it helps medical professionals to accurately communicate health information or patient information between or amongst each, each other without ambiguity, right? So it, it improves the efficiency of communication. Uh, thirdly, uh, medical terminology also helps us to, to go beyond just patient communication. It helps to, to standardize uh, communication even further by augmenting diagnostic and procedure coding, right? And it's relevant in that context in that, number one, it augments diagnostic and procedure coding, right? I'm talking about things like the ICD-10 coding system. The other thing it does is it standardizes uh, medical transcription. And the other relevant fields are public health and epidemiology. Let's say relevant, relevant field, right? So I uh, know that this list is not exhaustive, but these are some of the fields where uh, medical terminology is relevant or may be relevant. Number one is diagnostic, diagnostic and procedure coding. Number two is medical transcription. Number three is other fields of health, for instance, public health, epidemiology, etc. right? So you can add to this list. You can't possibly memorize all medical terms, um, but what you can do is to learn the basic rules that guide word formation. And we will go through them, the rules that guide word formation, the rules that guide um, word definition and pronunciation, right? So, uh, having understood those rules, this will allow you to be able to, uh, in a, to a certain degree, to, to know what a term means, uh, even when it's first time uh, seeing that term. So in the next section, let us just discuss some of the, the fundamental uh, word elements, right? The basic word elements that you're expected to learn. Okay, so basic elements. And then we'll just uh, list them here. And then in the next sections, we'll go over them uh, in more detail. Okay, so the basic word elements that you will learn, the first one, so number one is word root. So word root. So a word root is uh, the fundamental meaning of a word. Right? So number one is word root. Number two, we have combining forms or combining vowel, right? So combining vowels. Three, we have 
prefix or prefixes and suffixes. So the word root is the main part of the the, the, the word or the term. Right? So it's the core part of the term and then it gives it its fundamental meaning. Right? So it gives so it gives meaning right or fundamental meaning to the word to the term okay and then the combining vowels they connect right so combining it means they are connectors so they connect word parts so they connect different word parts right and you will learn later that they connect Combining vowels connect a word root to a word root or a word root to a suffix. And then prefixes and suffixes, they modify. So they modify the word root. Right? So that's it. So word root gives meaning. Combining vowel connect. Prefixes and suffix suffixes modify. So let us look at an example of a word of word parts, how they are used um, in a word, right? So an example. So an example of a word part or word parts. Okay, let's take a word like peritonsillitis. So within this word peritonsillitis, you have the elements or the basic elements of a medical term, right? You have the word root, you have the uh, prefix, and you have the suffix. It's important to note that, um, as you'll see once we discuss the rules for combining these word elements, sometimes you may have a word that doesn't have um, a combining vowel, right? Sometimes it's necessary to drop the combining vowel, and we'll go through those rules later on, right? But the term peritonsillitis has peri, which means upon, that's the prefix. So this is the prefix, right? Which modifies uh, the word root, okay? And then we have tonsil, right? Which is the word root, word root. And then itis, which means inflammation, which is the suffix. Okay, I think this is fairly straightforward. And in the next sections, we will now go into detail, discuss, expand on the basic elements of a medical term.